Order of the Bath from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, www.wikipedia.org, recorded on April 25th, 2005. The Most Honorable Order of the Bath is a British order of chivalry founded by George I on May 18th, 1725. The name derives from the ancient ceremony abolished in 1815, wherein individuals participated in a vigil of fasting, prayer, and bathing on the day before being knighted. The order's motto is Tria Juncta in Uno, Latin for three joined in one, a reference to either the Union of England, Scotland, and Ireland, or to the Holy Trinity. The former is more likely. A recurring symbol of the order comprises three crowns. Another motto, Ich Dien, German for I serve, is sometimes used, but only by members of the order who serve in the military. The order is the fourth most senior in the British honors system, after the most noble order of the Garter, the most ancient and most noble order of the Thistle, and the most illustrious order of St. Patrick. The order of St. Patrick, relating to Ireland, still exists but is in disuse. No appointments have been made to it since 1934. History and Composition under a tradition that dates to medieval times, special knighthoods were conferred on important royal occasions such as coronations. These knighthoods were called knighthoods of the bath due to the ritual bathing observed prior to the investiture. The practice became obsolete by the reign of Charles II. George I revived the practice, instituting the order of the bath upon the advice of his prime minister, Sir Robert Walpole, who wished to control a source of political patronage. The British Sovereign is the Sovereign of the Order of the Bath. The Sovereign makes all appointments to the Order on the advice of the government. Aside from the Sovereign, the Order originally included one Great Master of the Bath, who is the next most senior of the Order, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales has been the Great Master since 1975, and a maximum of 36 Knights of the Bath. After the Napoleonic Wars, it was deemed necessary to honor more individuals. In 1815, the free investiture rituals were abolished, and the order was divided into a civil division of one class, Knight of the Order of the Bath, and a new military division with three classes, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Bath, Knight Commander of the Order of Bath, and Companion of the Order of Bath. In 1847, the order was formally divided into parallel military and civil divisions with equal classes in each. Limits were placed on the number of Knights Grand Cross, Knights Commanders, and Companions, but they have been frequently increased. They are now 120, 355, and 1,925, respectively. These limits are often disregarded, as the statutes allow in the event of actions that merit a, quote, peculiar honor or reward, unquote. Women were not admitted to the order until 1971. The first dame, Grand Cross, was Princess Alice, Duchess of Gloucester, an aunt of Elizabeth II. Foreigners may be admitted to the order as honorary members. They do not count toward the limit on the number of members. Two individuals were made Knights Grand Cross shortly after the conclusion of their terms as Presidents of the United States, Ronald Reagan in 1989 and George H. W. Bush in 1993. Honorary members may be stripped of their knighthoods. The first to suffer this fate was Nicolae Ceausescu, dictator of Romania. The Order of the Bath has six officers, the Dean, the King of Arms, the Secretary, the Deputy Secretary, the Genealogist, and the Usher. The office of Dean is held by the Dean of Westminster. The King of Arms, responsible for heraldry, is known as the Bath King of Arms. He is not, however, a member of the College of Arms, like many heralds. The Order's Usher is known as the Gentleman Usher of the Scarlet Rod. He does not perform any duties in the House of Lords, unlike his Order of the Garter equivalent, the Gentleman Usher of the Black Rod. Vestments and accoutrements. Members of the order wear elaborate costumes or habits on important occasions, such as its quadrennial investiture ceremonies and coronations. Knights Grand Cross wear their habits over suits in modern times. During the 19th century, they wore them over imitations of 17th century dress. The habits vary by rank. The mantle, worn only by knights and dames Grand Cross, is made of crimson satin lined with white taffeta. On the left side is a representation of the star. The mantle is bound with two large tassels. The hat, worn only by knights and dames Grand Cross and knights and dames commanders, is made of black velvet. It includes an upright plume of feathers. 
The collar, worn only by knights and dames Grand Cross, is made of gold and weighs 30 troy ounces, 933 grams. It consists of depictions of nine imperial crowns and eight sets of flowers, roses for England, thistles for Scotland, and shamrocks for Ireland, connected by 17 silver knots. At lesser occasions, simpler insignia are used. The star is an accoutrement used only by knights and dames Grand Cross and knights and dames commanders. Its style varies by rank and division. It is worn pinned on the left breast. The star for military knights and dames Grand Cross consists of a Maltese cross on top of an eight-pointed silver star. The star for military knights and dames commander is an eight-pointed silver cross pate. Each bears in the center three crowns surrounded by a red ring bearing the motto of the order in gold letters. The circle is flanked by two laurel branches and is above a scroll bearing the German words Ich dein in gold letters. The star for civil knights and dames Grand Cross consists of an eight-pointed silver star without the Maltese cross. The star for civil knights and dames commanders is an eight-pointed silver cross patty. The design of each is the same as the design of the military stars, except that the laurel branches and the words Ictaim are excluded. The badge is an insignia that varies in design, size, and manner of wearing by rank and division. The Knight and Dame Grand Cross's badge is larger than the Knight and Dame Commander's badge, which is in turn larger than the Companion's badge. However, these are all suspended on a crimson ribbon. Knights and Dames Grand Cross wear the badge on a ribbon or sash, passing from the right shoulder to the left hip. Knights commanders and male companions wear the badge from a ribbon worn around the neck. Dames commanders and female companions wear the badge from a bow on the left side. The military badge is a gold Maltese cross of eight points, enameled in white. Each point of the cross is decorated by a small gold ball. Each angle has a small figure of a lion. The center of the cross bears three crowns on the obverse side and a rose, a thistle, and a shamrock, emanating from a scepter on the reverse side. Both emblems are surrounded by a red circular ring bearing the motto of the order, which are in turn flanked by two laurel branches above a scroll bearing the words Ich Dian in gold letters. The civil badge is a plain gold oval bearing three crowns on the obverse side and a rose, a thistle, and a shamrock emanating from a scepter on the reverse side. Both emblems are surrounded by a ring bearing the motto of the order. On certain collar days, designated by the sovereign, members attending formal events may wear the order's collar over their military uniform or evening wear. When collars are worn, either on collar days or on formal occasions such as coronations, the badge is suspended from the collar. The collars and badges of knights and dames Grand Cross are returned to the central chancery of the orders of knighthood upon the decease of their owners. All other insignia may be retained by their owners. Chap the chapel of the order is Henry the Seventh Lady Chapel in Westminster Abbey. Every four years an installation ceremony, presided over by the great master, and a religious service are held in the chapel. The sovereign attends every alternate ceremony. The sovereign and each knight who has been installed is allotted a stall in the choir of the chapel. Since there are a limited number of stalls in the chapel, only the most senior knights and dames Grand Cross are installed. By convention, stalls are offered alternately to members of the military and civil divisions. Waits between admission to the order and installation may be very long. For instance, Lord Mountbatten, 1st Earl Mountbatten of Burma, was created a Knight Grand Cross in 1955, but was installed in 1972. Above each stall, the occupant's heraldic device is displayed. Perched on the pinnacle of a knight's stall is his helm, decorated with a mantling, and topped by his crest. Under English heraldic law, women other than monarchs do not bear helms or crests. Instead, the coronet appropriate to the dame's rank is used. Above the crest or coronet, the knight's or dame's heraldic banner is hung, emblazoned with his or her coat of arms. At a considerably smaller scale, at the back of the stall is affixed a piece of brass, a stall plate, displaying its occupant's name, arms, and date of admission into the order. Upon the death of a knight, the banner, helm, mantling, and crest, or coronet or crown, are taken down. The stall plates, however, are not removed. Rather, they remain permanently affixed somewhere about the stall, so that the stalls of the chapel are festooned with a colorful record 
of the Order's knights, and now ladies, throughout history. Precedence and Privileges Members of the Order of the Bath are assigned positions in the Order of Precedence. Wives of male members also feature on the Order of Precedence, as do sons, daughters, and daughters-in-law of Knights Grand Cross and Knights Commanders. Relatives of female members, however, are not assigned any special precedence. As a rule, individuals can derive precedence from their fathers or husbands, but not from their mothers or wives. Refer to Orders of Precedence in England and Wales for the exact positions. Knights Grand Cross and Knights Commanders prefix Sir, and Dames Grand Cross and Dames Commanders prefix Dame to their forenames. Wives of Knights may prefix Lady to their surnames, but no equivalent privilege exists for the husbands of Dames. Such forms are not used by peers and princes, except when the names of the former are written out in their fullest forms. Furthermore, honorary members and clergymen do not use the accolade of knighthood. Knights and Dames Grand Cross use the post-nominal GCB. Knights Commanders use KCB. Dames Commanders use DCB. Companions use CB. Knights and Dames Grand Cross are also entitled to receive heraldic supporters. They may furthermore encircle their arms with a depiction of the circlet, a red circle bearing the motto, and the collar. The former is shown either outside or on the top of the latter. Knights and dames commanders and companions may display the circlet, but not the collar, around their arms. The badge is depicted suspended from the collar or circlet. Refer also to Order of the Garter, Order of the Thistle, Order of St. Michael and St. George, Royal Victorian Order, Order of the British Empire. References Sovereign as the Fountain of Honor www.royal.gov.uk slash output slash page 495.asp Brennan, I.G., 2004, The Most Honorable Order of the Bath www.heraldicsculptor.com slash bath.html Cambridge University Heraldic and Genealogical Society, The Most Honorable Order of the Bath, 2002, www.cam.ac.uk slash societies slash c-u-h-a-g-s slash order of c slash bath dot htm. Debrett's Limited, 2004, The Most Honorable Order of the Bath www.debretts.co.uk slash etiquette slash order underscore of underscore the underscore bath dot html Knights and Chivalry, 1911, Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th edition, London, Cambridge University Press. F.R. Veld, 2003, Orders of Precedence in England and Wales www.heraldica.org slash topics slash britain slash order underscore precedence dot htm Recorded April 25th, 2005 This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License available at www.gnu.org org slash copy left slash fdl dot html